Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. All links are below. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. So Scorpio, you come out firstly, I did this reading and it wasn't recording. So anyway, you come out with the six of swords here. So it's like you, you have made sense of moving on from something, moving on from the hurt, the, you know, from previous relationships, conversations, you just feel like something was an uphill battle. You wasn't getting what you wanted. It was just too much. It was turbulence. It was drama. You needed to get back to a place of balance and harmony. And the only way to do that is just to move on. It's like you made sense of moving on. This could even be in terms of work, your work environment, toxic work environments. Maybe you made the determination to reconcile and that wasn't the best. But even though with your moving on, it's like you're looking backwards, you know, you're still in that place of wondering what if what, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. If I if I stay, will I see the miracle happen in my relationship? So forth. The nine of wands talks about, you know, determining if you should fight for a rocky situation, a rocky relationship. It says that you're you're too much into the past, looking into the past. Therefore, you can't, you know, live in the present and you damn sure can't see your future. As you're away from this situation, because it is you, you are energetically, maybe even physically away. You could have moved out or moved on or something. It looks like somebody pulled you back in, maybe with argument. Maybe you, you, were, you decided you weren't arguing with anyone about a certain thing, whatever, anymore. And as soon as you got to a place of not being there this person pulls you back in and this also could just be maybe you're out of a relationship you're one foot in one foot out and this person does something big major because they feel you getting away they don't want you to get away they don't want you to be out of this so the knights are all about their own quest or conquest they're they're out to conquer something right so this knight of swords comes back with their words you know forceful confrontational persuasive smart knowing what to say to pull you draw you back in that is the plan just to draw you back in but look what you're drawing back into the five of swords some you say so you went from the six of swords back to the five of swords and funny because the five of swords talks about reversal so it's like you you're you're reversing now um you were out of it and now you're going back this is what you have done or what you are doing or what someone wants you to do this is a test a trial the the swords that whole suit is about trials and test a test of your will of you said you will not argue you said you will not take this type of treatment anymore what are you going to do it's like somebody's trying to pull you in reverse here with the five of swords i mean like when you drive a car you don't you don't drive or you don't operate a car in reverse like you don't get into your vehicle, put it in reverse, reverse all the way to the store, to the grocery store, to the nail shop, to the wherever, you know, you drive, you put it in drive. Most of, you know, the time spent operating your car, it is in drive. It's in, it's going forward because you're trying to get somewhere. But it, if you're going backwards or if you're reversing, you're not going anywhere, you know? So uh, that's what uh, we have. Let's get one card of advice for my Scorpio. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. This is a, a test, a trial. They want you to know this is all you get here. The Tens are about completion, the fullness of a thing, capacity. There's no more room for anything else here but collapse, devastation. Now, in saying that, you say, okay, so there's no room for um, this to work out. I am not saying that I'm saying that how you guys work to, together right now, it needs to completely end. Like there needs to be a complete dynamic change or personality change, or there needs to be some real change with you and whomever you're dealing with, or you're only going to get this. You're only going to get disappointment, heartbreak, heartache, someone being overly dramatic and just the drama and the theatrics allow yourself to come out of this does it hurt yes but you know that's where you are on the other side of this if you pass the trial the test you got the ten of cups very good reading scorpio is all about 
perspective. It's all about changing. It's all about staying away from it. Um, let it subside. Let it go that way and you go the other way. Um, therefore, you can get um, the highest level of happiness. You know, the stage being set for happiness for you. You know, um, it's all about how you perform. So it's like you got to let this go. This is a dark place too to be in. If somebody hurt you deeply or you hurt somebody else deeply. I'm not sure. This is what I have. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. If you took something from the reading, you could definitely give something back by donating. Um, you can also uh, catch me live, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you.